John has become a great friend, and I'm proud to introduce him today as a new partner at FinTech TV. John is going to focus on equity inclusion through diversity. Remember that. We're going to come back to that many times and create some muscle memory, some new conversations, a new narrative around that. And I am thrilled to welcome you today, John. Well, Not only to the show, but <laughs> to FinTech TV. Absolutely. Well, Vince, thanks for having me. Uh, you know, listen, I, I, I appreciate, you know, all the words, but listen, this I am really excited about being here. You talk about partnerships with purpose, and, and I absolutely love that, but it really epitomizes sustainable goal number 17 of the United Nations. Partnerships and collaboration, and how do you work together for the common good? And, I, mm -hmm. and I'd love for you to kind of maybe with that, maybe we'll reverse engineer a little bit. Tell me a little bit about your background, have the audience get to know you a little bit, mm -hmm. and then we'll, we'll jump forward. Well, you know, uh, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm the middle child of seven kids. Uh, my mother was pregnant, ironing clothes when JFK got shot. Um, you know, my name is John Fitzgerald Carter. Um, not a lot of people call me Fitzgerald, so let's just stick with John. <laughs> but you know, at the same time, I uh, grew up in a big sports family, um, leveraged sports. You know, from an access point of view, meeting different people across the board, you know, and, and I, I, I think what it, you know, what it is, what it allowed us to do kind of as, as brothers and as entrepreneurs, you know, is, you know, we, we always identified with the people that were in the room. Kind of, it's no different than the first time me and you met. And then we, we piggybacked on conversations of, you know, John talked to me about, you know, you, you, you know, you talk about the United Nations. We're talking about, you know, the company that's ringing the bell today. You know, it's it's about inclusion. It's about sustainability. This world will not be sustainable without equity inclusion. All right, we we you know, this world works on two men in a pickup truck. I mean, they are the blood of this of the of this country. So when you when me and you started talking about this, I started thinking to myself, okay, how do you take fintech and and really impact sustainability? So, you know, that, that's what I'm looking forward to. That's what I'm, you know, looking to be able to grow the platform um, that, you, you know, that, that you, you will allow me to participate in and, uh, and then kind of see where it takes us. But all part of a journey, right? Oh, it's a journey, absolutely. And, and I think, you know, the ability as entrepreneurs to be able to pivot, change directions and, and, and kind of read the room or read the signals, mm -hmm. but I think it's so important, you know, and I want to give another shout out to the New York Stock Exchange going back to Founders Day when you and I yes, first had our conversation. Absolutely. Never been done, Black History Month, never been done at the New York Stock Exchange. They step forward, have 110, 120 black and brown entrepreneurs that are leading business to bring recognition to the lack of access to capital to black and brown entrepreneurs, maybe two or three percent of the available capital. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about um, equity through inclusion, right? It's it's more than just the capital. That's a starting point. But yep. I'd love you to expand your thoughts on that. Well, I mean, again, I think it's I think it's two parts. I mean, you know, as I stated to you before, I, I do not believe that you, you have to start with equity and inclusion, and then through diversity, you can bring in the founders programs, or um, you know, black and brown businesses, you know, that don't have access to it. But it does start with equity and the inclusion piece. When you go back to the, you know, what the United Nations, you know, when I when I look at that and I understand it, to me what they're talking about is inclusion. How do we get more involved? You know, because I mean today it's like the the, the the country's a little crazy, right? We're we're, we're kind of split. But you know, I got I got them on all sides, right? You know, because that's kind of the world that we live in. But if, but if we don't figure out how to sustain growth, you know, with a founders program, you, you know, with, you, you know with, with the smaller companies that can do great things for bigger companies, 